Hey everyone, it's Tiara, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful summer so far. I know I am. I'm in the middle. I've been at my um, summer internship for a month, actually a month yesterday or two days ago. My um, has passed since I've been in my internship, and I've already learned so much, like in terms of professional development and connecting with other people and um, being pushed out of my comfort zone and you know leading. Um, or developing leadership skills. So, um, and it's just been amazing. It's been amazing. And um, I love everyone with whom I work, and they love me too. So it's been a really good, um, beneficial uh, work relationships. Um, other things. Uh, so, the reason I'm bringing this video to you today is because um, I got some health news uh, yesterday and I was um, diagnosed with diabetes yeah I you know I, I kind of I'm not surprised that I have it um, I was I, I know I I know I mentioned in the previous video probably I think it's in the video on um, how I first got started with my weight loss journey that I was pre-diabetic in my sophomore year of college um, I was diagnosed um, right after my freshman year, and then, and then I spent like the first semester of that sophomore year trying to, uh, or losing the weight to make sure that I, I don't become a type 2 diabetic. Now, I don't know what kind of diabetic I am now, so they're still um, running tests to determine uh, which type of diabetes I have. Um, it could be type 2. Type 1 usually... Um, you know, you're usually born with type 1, but um, there is another type of diabetes. I can't um, brace it off the top of my head, but, you know, um, yeah. So yesterday I was at the doctor, and the doctor, like, you know, came in. He, the first thing he said when he walked into the room was, well, you've graduated to full-blown diabetes. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, well, thanks, I guess. So, um... Yeah, so he gave me, like, an insulin pen, and I had to, um, you know, uh, give myself a shot. Or, I'm sorry, he gave me a shot and showed me how to use the pen, and we talked about treatment. And um, the good thing is that I, I won't need to be on insulin forever um, if I get, you know, you know, if I can get my blood sugar and my, meta and I, and my metabolism under the control. Um, I don't know how long I've had it. It could be a while. It could have been a while for now. Even though a year ago, I get my blood sugar tested uh, every year because diabetes is prevalent in my family. Um, and last year I didn't have it, so it probably came on maybe early this year, whatever. I don't know. Um, I don't know how my diet has to change. I eat pretty well now, um, but I may have to see a nutritionist. And for those who don't know, I'm actually studying nutrition education. So I'll be learning. We uh, we talked about diabetes and the metabolic processes uh, a year ago um, during my first graduate course, but I'll actually be taking a course on weight control, I think, the semester that I graduate, so probably next spring. So a lot of this is related to my field, but I'll probably need to go see, like, an actual nutritionist to get my to, to figure out how my diet has to change. Um, I guess emotionally, um, I don't really feel sad about it. Um, only because I've, I've kind of been through this before with the pre-diabetes. And, and I think in when, when I was diagnosed as a pre-diabetic, I was much more distraught. I was like, I was just, you know, be, only because I was like, I was 18. Um, I was overweight and, um, and I was, and I didn't, and I didn't know anything about that. Only thing I knew about diabetes at the time was that I thought you had to be on insulin for the rest of your life. Your diet, your diet was forever altered, um, and that I would end up losing my foot one day. Doesn't have, and those things don't have to be true. Um, it's about uh, diabetes can be controlled with with the with the health with a really healthy diet um, and exercise. So it is controllable, and you know you don't have to be on insulin forever. So um, and your diet depends on on what your nutritionist says. So it, it, it's different for everyone. But I, and I'm aware of the consequences of it. So I, I'm aware that, you know, I may not be able to heal as fast. 
um, and I'm may maybe more prone to, to, to getting sick, um, I think the most, the most worrying thing, um, is probably the cost of medication, which, uh, which can be an issue depending on, you know, what happens with this healthcare bill and, um, and depending on the kind of coverage I can get. Now, um, I don't know how this changes my blog, to be honest with you. I've. I just got diagnosed yesterday and, you know, as soon as I got diagnosed, I was like, well, how does this change the way I, you know, blog or Instagram? And if you know, I post on Instagram frequently with different things that I make and it's things that, um, that show a well-balanced diet. Like I, I mean, I have fun on the weekends or, um, I have fun on the weekends and then I may post something that's like super healthy, like, like the, like the next day kind of just show that I, I like to balance, I like balance. So I don't know how that changes. I don't know. Um, I may actually start, I may, um, probably want to look at some diabetic friendly cookbooks and um, probably pull some recipes from there and test them myself. Um, and, or, and actually probably just, you know, vlog like this or um, write some pieces on how I've been living with diabetes. Um, and how and if my life has changed and how. Um, I'm not really afraid of needles, so you know, using the insulin pen isn't really a, a big, you know, doesn't really scare me. Um, I think it's just right now I'm in the um, I'm in the mode where I'm not really sad. I just want to know how can I control it. What do I need to do? What do I need to change? And I'm willing to do it, obviously, because um, I don't want to get I don't want to get older and and have um, any kind of really serious complications. Um, even now, I don't. I don't want to have to deal with that. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm a diabetic now. I'll probably um, have more information within the next week about um, you know about my about my diagnosis and my prognosis and everything like that. Um. But yeah, I just want to update you guys. Otherwise, summer is like going really awesome. Um, if you if you check on my Instagram, I've made I made some awesome watermelon lim watermelon mint lemonade, uh, which I'll have to test again to make sure I get a um, to make sure I can provide like a full recipe. Um, tonight I'm grilling some chicken. I'm gonna make some grilled chicken and bruschetta um, with some grilled broccoli. So I'm looking to the side because my dog is like right next to me and I think she's still kind of shaking up from the fireworks. So she's like really, really close. And so, oh girl, her name is Daisy. Um, and I think that's about it. But you know, if, if you are diabetic or if you know someone who's diabetic and if you have any like any recipe suggestions for me, you know, please send them, email me at contact at cooking to a tea com or send me a message on Instagram at cooking to a tea. Or Facebook or cooking to a tea. Um, so I definitely want to know what can I do to, you know, provide um, content for diabetic friendly uh, for diabetics, um, diabetic friendly meals, and you know, just living with it and how to adjust and things like that. So um, yeah, let me know, and I'm open to all kinds of suggestions. Even if you have like other um, specific health um, based recipes you want me to try, just let me know. But, um, yeah, so I can't wait to talk to you guys next time and give you an update on um, my treatment and how I move forward as, um, as a, new, a new chapter in my life as a diabetic. Cool. Have a good weekend. Bye.